better know that the highest human relationship that you could possibly enter into is when, a, when you make a commitment to marriage. Amen. 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 Ain't, none, ain't none higher than that. That's why, that's why y'all still looking at me. Beyonce said, if you love it, put a ring on it. If you love what you see, if you love what you feel, come on, somebody. Then you ought to be willing to put a ring on it. Are y'all right? I'm talking to young mothers here today. And prospective mothers here today. It's important because, because our, our, the next generation depends on what you do with the word of God as it relates to relationships. Because that's what's wrong, with, that's what's going on in our community today. We don't have a lot of this going on. One man making a commitment to one woman in marriage. Amen. And raising children in that primary family relationship. I wish I had a witness in here. Well, well it, it, it's not just the wedding ring that's different and that's significant in our weddings, but also the giving away of the bride to the groom. Because that's significant, that's different. Because in our ceremonies, there is a place uh, whether I've done the ceremony or whether I've been the person giving it away one time, um, uh, it, it, there's always a set, a, a portion or a place in the marriage ceremony where somebody asks, who gives this woman to be married to this man? And, 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 and then the father of the father figure stands up and steps forward and says, I do. And then he gives, to actually takes the hand of his daughter and, and places it in the hand of her prospective husband. Yes, Are y'all gonna walk with me? Yes, uh, and, and so that's not just something cute for y'all to say, oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> that, that, that has symbolism in it. There is symbolism in that. There is symbolism. And the symbolism is, is the man who's giving away his daughter uh, uh, or, his, or, or who is a father figure giving away this daughter symbolizes the fact that he is putting his blessing or his endorsement on this marriage relationship. In other words, he has checked out things. He's checked out the brother. And he's checked out the other brothers. And he is saying, I've looked at this situation and I believe that this person is the best person for me to give my daughter to. And that really, that really, that really should cause us um, to to awaken to this wonderful and this serious responsibility. Yeah. It's a symbol of our stamp of approval, brothers, that we're giving our daughter uh, and we're putting her in a place where there is blessings and a bright future. Right. I, 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 I have, uh, as we look at this, and it, it helped me to understand, as we look at this text, it helps me to understand uh, the, the, the differences in our culture and in the culture uh, of the first century Jews. And, and, and what this thing, this thing, uh, uh, it, it, it dealt with me because I've done this one time, and, and God willing, I'll get a chance, I'm praying, that I'll get a chance to do this again. But I told the folks this morning that don't don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. This 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 sermon is not for her. Y'all are here. This sermon ain't for her because because I don't have to wait for Sunday in order to talk to her. When she and I have stuff to talk about, I know how to pull her to the side. I had, I had 12 hours. Come on, somebody. You get that on the way home. 12 hours to intimately discuss matters of importance with her. I don't have to wait till Sunday. So she already heard all of this. So don't look at her. This ain't about her. This is about us. Can y'all pray with me? Amen. Amen. I just, I just want to make, I want you, I don't want you to get it twisted. This ain't for Tamara. Tamara and I have this discussion. Uh, uh, but, but as we look at this, as we look at this giving of the daughter over to the next thing, one of, it, it, it helps me to understand how this whole scenario works of the kingdom of heaven. And, and, and in other words, when I give my step of approval, uh, I, am, I have looked at this situation and I have determined that at least what, what my daughter has been exposed to in my home, she will at least receive the same thing in the next home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I check it out. I check 
him out and I take it out. And, and I want to know that she's at least going to get what she got in my home before I give my blessing and release her to go to the next home. Amen, amen. Well, what are you talking about, preacher? Well, the first thing I need to know is I need to make sure that she has a place to go before I release her. I got to make sure that she's got a home to go to. I know that's obvious. Don't let me insult your intelligence. Because, but it is important that you understand before you let them, before you give them your blessing. Because some of them will just walk out. Amen, amen. That ain't my responsibility. But before I give my blessing, I want to know that the place she's going to is a place that offers her the same thing she got at my house. Well, preacher, come on, hurry up and tell us, what does she get at your house? Well, first of all, she got protection at my house. Because you can't just run up on 26 on 9. Talking crazy up and down. Come on, somebody. You got to come straight. You got to come correct. When you come, that's why a lot of folks don't come to 26 on 9. I wish I had a witness in this house. You got to be straight when you come up there because, yeah, I want to talk to him. Where is he? I want to talk to him. I want to know some things. I don't want to just say, hi, how you doing? My name is Wayne Banks. I want to know where you come from. Who is your family? Are you a Christian? Do you go to church? Who are your parents? What do you believe a relationship with a woman is all about? I want to know all of that before I release her because I want to make sure that at least she's going to get what she's got at my house. She has protection. When I don't know that she has protection, she got provisions. She ain't got to be tripping at breakfast time. I always had a she ain't nobody got to worry about dinner over at 26 now. The Lord is good. And he blesses abundantly at 26 9. Are y'all praying with me? Amen. Nobody go hungry over there by the grace of God. Because, but I want to make sure that where she's going, there are provisions over there. Not only, not only do they need to be, they need to be provisions. They need to be somebody present over there. Yeah. 
and you don't, you don't hear what I'm saying, but the oil in the text is representative of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And so before I release you, I got to make sure that you've got the provisions to, in order to be able to take care of yourself. And the only way you can take care of yourself, any of us, is through the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit allows and empowers us to do what we have to do and do what we need to do. Are y'all praying with me? And not only, not only that, but I, I, I also have to uh, uh, make sure before I release her uh, that that uh, she she knows who to hang with and who to hang and who to stay away from. Because the Bible says, the Bible says before I can release her, the Scripture says that there were ten virgins, five were foolish, five were wise. Amen. She's got to show me that she knows how to hang with wise people. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying? That she has to show me that she knows how to run, how to select the right friends, and how to run with the right crowd. Because you know what? God, uh, foolish folks don't hang out with wise folks. And wise folks don't hang out with foolish folks. Y'all going to hear me in a minute. I've got to make sure that she knows how to select the right crowd. But before I can release her, I need to understand that she knows how to accept the fact that i got to make decisions to allow people in my lives who are godly, who are pure, and, and, and who have a relationship with the Lord. i gotta, I got to allow folks who have integrity in my life before I can release you. Not only that, I have to know that you have learned life economics. And I'm going I'm to take my seat here because she needs to know how to, how to, how to deal with life's economy. Preacher, what is, what is life's economy? Economy. How, how do I know that? Well, uh, the Bible says that there were five virgins, ten virgins, five that were foolish, and five that were that were wise. Yeah. And, and the Scripture says that the wise virgins understood life's economy. The wise virgins, the Bible says that they brought extra oil. Yeah. Not only did they have oil in their lamp, but they brought some extra oil with them yeah. because they were wise. Yeah. They understood life's economy. Then there, there were the five foolish versions, and the five foolish versions brought just enough oil yeah. and no extra. Uh -huh. What's life's economy? Life's economy says that if you got just enough, you don't have enough. You got to have some extra if you want to be able to make it in this world. You need some extra stuff. Come on, somebody. You, you need more than just what you've got on you. You need to have some stuff carrying with you. Y'all going to hear me in a minute. Uh, 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 the Bible says, the Bible says that they had extra oil. And, and, and I love this because it helps us to understand that just getting by is not really thriving in this economy. I've said this morning that that we're coming away, we're coming at the end of the school year, and there's a lot of folks who are gonna be moving from one level to the next level. They're gonna be folks who have been working in elementary school, gonna be moving to middle school. And some folks who have been working in middle moving to high. Some work, work folks working in high gonna be moving to college and universities. And, and, and one of the things that happens is, and I know because I, I I was part of that. And there's a lot of us who have done just enough to get out of the level that we're already on. But if you've done just enough to get out of, out of junior high or, or out of middle school, that ain't going to be enough in high school. And if you have done just enough in high school, that's not going to be enough to carry you through college. In other words, in other words, if you have done just enough, that's not going to be enough to get you to another level so that you can thrive and survive. Oh, y'all praying with me? If you're on your job and all you do is just enough, the first time they get ready to downsize, they're looking for the just enough folks. They're the first one who get the pink slip. Are y'all going to pray with me? I'm almost done. I ain't going to keep you any longer. But one of the things that I look at is, is that in, among the, in life's economy, there were these wise women and these foolish women. And the wise women had more than enough. The foolish women had just enough. And then when the Bible says that when the announcement was made that the bridegrooms come, Scripture says that everybody woke up because they fell asleep. And when they woke up, they checked out their oil. And, and the wise women had plenty of oil. They, they, they restocked their lamp and trimmed it so that they were ready when the bridegroom came. And the Bible says they were able to go into the wedding celebration. Are y'all praying with me? But the foolish women, the Bible says that these foolish virgins didn't have enough. So they went to the wise and said, listen, give us 
some of your oil. Because yeah. if you give us some of your oil, then we'll be ready when the bridegroom comes. Right. Are y'all praying with me? Right. But the scripture says that these wise women say, no, no, my sister, you better get your own. And, I, and, and, and one of the things that I love about this is they realize that they had to, they had enough for what they needed to do so that they could be a part of the wedding celebration. Yeah. 